But for us, it's straight back to Newmarket. It's time to go racing with John Hunt. Thank you very much, Gigi. Just the last four or five to come forward now for this July Cup. A great midsummer sprinting highlight of what's been three excellent days here at Newmarket. Just to tell you a little bit about what happened earlier on in this car, the very uh, competitive Bunbury Cup was won by a rank outsider called Bless Him, ridden by Jamie Spencer. Spencer attempting to double up here aboard the Australian horse Arturius. And we enjoy enjoyed it also a big two-year-old race today called the Superlative Stakes and that was won by Brian Meehan, the trainer, his biggest win of the season so far when Isaac Shelby just got the better of a great battle with Victory Dance there. Two pretty nice two-year-olds there. So the last two come forward now for this July Cup. We'll be listening out for the likes of Alcohol Free, who was a very, very good horse last year. She's struggling to make her impact, though, so far this year. The July Cup almost set to go. It's just going to take over a minute to run it. And they are off and racing. A race where Happy Romance from Store 1 got a very slowish break there. Not particularly fast away did that one. A double or bubble also as they now just congregated the middle of the track here. And it's Twilight Jet, one of the runners from Ireland, who's very fast away. The Japanese runner, King Hermes, is showing good speed as well. And Perfect Power's not far behind them at all. Perfect Power is poised, you would have thought, under Christophe Sumion after his fantastic Royal Ascot success. Interesting that Happy Romance has just ducked in behind the leaders towards the near side group. Those in the middle of the pack, Creative Force, Naval Crown, Emiratiana showing a good deal of speed as well as they now come on down towards the business end of the race and the final couple of furlongs just ahead of them here. Artorius, the Australian, is just struggling to land a blow. He's further back together with Cadamosto, who's also got an awful lot of running to do here. But as they now begin to climb the hill to the line, they're right across the track here the leader naval crown but he's hanging badly as alcohol free now finds a fresh turn of foot as artorius finishes far into third place but it is alcohol free who lands the big july cup and has beaten naval crown with artorius finishing fast for australia finishing in third place though that is a big big win alcohol free a very very smart horse who last year every week seemed to dine at the top table this year she's returned with three underwhelming performances but the decision to move from racing over a mile to sprinting has paid huge dividends here for alcohol free and jockey rob hornby yes a nice story about trainer andrew balding another big winner for him but this story is about rob hornby who earlier on this week uh, he won fantastically the falmer stakes there on a horse called prosperous voyage giving him a group one win and that just weeks after he lost the ride on the derby third westover who went on then to win the irish derby so it's been a really tumultuous few weeks for rob hornby but that is now he's won the two big group one races of the week here at new market prosperous voyage earlier on this week but now the big one of the weekend goes to alcohol free and rob hornby what a week he's had john a great listen as always thank you very much to john hunt at new market